Understanding the end of the line. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, the end of the line. This expression is rich in meaning and widely used in both formal and informal contexts. So, if you're keen on enhancing your English skills, stay tuned as we explore the ins and outs of this phrase. The end of the line originally refers to the final stop or station on a railway line, where the train can go no further. Imagine you're on a train journey, and you've reached the last station. That's the literal end of the line. This physical stopping point serves as the foundation for more metaphorical uses of the phrase. The phrase, the end of the line, is often used metaphorically to signify the conclusion or termination of something. This could be an event, a process, a relationship, or even a period in one's life. When someone says, this is the end of the line, they mean that there's no possibility to continue further in the current direction. Example 1. Projects or events. In the context of projects or events, the end of the line might refer to the completion of a project or the conclusion of an event. It signifies that the work is done, and there's nothing more to add or develop. Example 2. Relationships. When used in the context of relationships, it often means that the relationship has reached a point where it cannot continue in its current form. It might be due to unresolved conflicts, changes in feelings, or external circumstances. Understanding when and how to use the end of the line can greatly enhance your conversational skills in English. It's used to convey finality and a sense of completion. However, it's important to use it appropriately, as it can carry a heavy or serious connotation. Tips for use. Use it to express the conclusion of something with finality. Be mindful of the context, as it can imply sadness or resignation to an ending. It can also be used lightly, in a joking manner, to signify the end of a less serious situation or discussion. And that's the end of the line for our video today. We hope this exploration has helped clarify this expression's meanings and uses. Remember, understanding such phrases can significantly enrich your English communication skills. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video, where we'll continue to unravel the beauty of the English language.